The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Hey, everybody, this is The Ash Holes. Each week, they smoke a different cigar, sometimes the same cigar, but mostly different, and they give their honest impression. They always assign an official Ash Holes rating to that cigar. So, pull up a chair, light up, relax, be an Ash Hole too. It's very rewarding. Broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. This is the Ash Holes Podcast. And today we're going to show our athletic side and do a little training for the world championship of cigar smoking. Because sporty <laughs> is the word that comes to yeah, mind sport. when I look at all three of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah sport. Yeah. yeah, sport. Very sport, sporty. guys. I know a sport, yeah. <laughs> so we actually have everyone here this week. The whole gang's back together. We yeah. got the... Yeah. It's been a few weeks. It has. It's been a little bit. It's yeah. been a little yeah. bit. Yeah, well, it's probably been three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Chrissy was under the weather. I know. You were... Uh, yeah, that's the first time I've had to drop In Baltimore. Out. Baltimoring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a sport in itself. That's a sport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. And this is a sport. Cigar smoking is a sport. I was so excited to hear this. Uh, I do sports. What are you yeah. doing today? I'm playing sports. Sports, yeah. Which is... Uh, Smoking a cigar, because we're smoking today the Rocky Patel Cigar Smoking World Championship Marva. Mareva? Mareva. It's a size. Yeah. And uh, it is from Nicaragua. It is a new blend from the previous blend. Okay, so it was one different. before it's different. Oh. It, it looks different, too. It's a darker color, right? Yeah, that's true. The, it is the same size it was before, which is a 5 and an eighth by 42. It is a petite Corona. That's what you would call the size. The wrapper is a San Andreas Mexican. Mm. Uh, it does not say Maduro on it, but um, it's, what would you call this? It's a, it's a brownish, dark Very brown. Dark, yeah. yeah. Very, pretty dark. Um, it has a binder from Nicaragua and fillers from Honduras. In Nicaragua. Hmm. So uh, Mexican wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Honduras and Nicaraguan fillers. The price of this cigar, and it's a small cigar for this kind of price, $9.39. Hmm. But a box is only eighty two ninety nine because there's only 10 in a box. Hmm. eighty two ninety nine uh, saving saving ten per cigar if you buy by the box. Uh, more information on this cigar. Uh, it also comes in a Robusto and Toro line. And uh, for smoking pleasure, I would say try the Robusto and Toro Mm -hmm. line. For competitiveness, which is what we're doing here today, the competition, this is the competitive size. The the size you must smoke uh, if you want to uh, be doing sports. (laughs) Sports, yeah, yeah. Uh, So you can find uh, this size and all three sizes on twoguyscigars.com. That's the number twoguyscigars.com. And there's lots of rules and regulations to this. We have all cut our cigar, have we? Yes. Yeah. All right. We've all cut our cigar. Um, it has a foot band. We should all remove our foot band. I did oh, not. Oh, yeah, I did. That's pretty important. Yeah. It I, won't I, help I could probably, So <laughs> the idea of this is to smoke the cigar the longest. I suppose if I left the foot band on, it would smoke a little longer. I feel like the I foot band know. would just melt to it and then eventually shut it, it might off. Go out, cut yeah. you Because yeah. it's smoking it for as long as you on, can yeah. without <laughs> going out. But I guess um, we have to, we should take a cold draw, right? We'll yeah, that cold draw is just pretty earthy. I tried to cut my um, cigar kind of narrow so that you know it would be the draw would be a little tight. Maybe that would help me a little bit. So I'm I'm moving my band just a little bit to see if it moves because I know the competitive ones. They, oh yeah, they glue it on. Yeah, mm. and it's it's pretty on there. It's tight, so I don't think I could slide that. Maybe later on, but. Mine's moving a little bit. Yeah, so. mine has a tiny bit of give. Yeah. And I feel like the band's a little bit lower than you normally see it. A uh, lot of um, tingling on my lips from the Mexican San Andreas yeah. wrapper. Mm-hmm. See, it's probably because of the, the foot band, but I feel like a little orange peel in a uh, pile of dirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is yeah. very earthy, yeah. <laughs> All right. So when it comes to the competition... You have um, a short time to you usually get two batches. We'll use our Perdomo lighter. We always yeah, do. But you only have one minute to prepare your cigar. Mm-hmm. So 
we can only take one minute to no. light the cigar. Okay. So and, we should light it before we get into all the rules or we'll run correct. out of time. So maybe well, whatever we, you we should toast it and then we'll do a real light. Yes. So, so we'll toast it ahead of time. That's our one yeah, minute. Yes. So, so we have up to a minute. I don't think I need mm. that long. I'll say it's time to light our cigars. Brought to you by Perdomo, the hottest brand in the land. A company founded on quality, tradition, and excellence. Excellent. So I, I wonder. Don't know, <laughs> I don't know if the law counts for the uh, competition, but just in case. One, One draw, that's, that's the law. law. One draw, that's the law. One draw, that's the law. One draw, that's the law. It's brought to you by Abuelo Cigars. You're going to live under my roof. You're going to play by my rules. Abuelo Cigars. Well, all right, so there's no blowing on the cigar nope. on the end, um, and you have up to You're a minute. You're going to lose. I'm definitely going to lose. I'm so I didn't know whether to, to get just the edges of it or the center also. I did the whole thing. I painted the whole thing with the lighter. Uh, yeah, I got nowhere because I'm out of fuel. Oh, all right. <laughs> so mine's going. Uh, I'm going to let Ed catch up a little bit, and then we can take a drawer on it. Uh, so we will all, at the same time, the idea is to smoke the cigar the longest without the cigar Ooh. going out. All right. So are we ready for uh, our one draw? Let's do it. Can we actually draw? Is it going to light? Yeah. Oh, I already broke a rule. Blew on it instinctively. <laughs> so did Dave. I just, I can't stop myself. Did I? I'm I just naturally sure just do did. it, like... As soon as I look at it, I blew on it. Oh, like, you may have just turned it to look at it. Yeah, I, I didn't, think I, I just didn't did. Yeah, I just saw you turn it around. I'm like, uh-oh. So I see a little N2 bar happening here on the uh, the rolls of tobacco at the end, which is normally where I would blow on it, but I'm just looking at it. I only took one draw. It's very Not hard. only is that the law, but I, I only want to because I don't. I only want to draw on the cigar every so often. Nice start to it. I like it. It's uh, kind of rich. Almost... Uh, not creamy, but it I don't know. it's got some chewy. It doesn't to taste the like the cold draw. No, not no, at all. no. That earthy taste to, to what it is. Yeah, earth on the finish, but uh, I don't know. Some all right. So the reason why we're doing this is um, it hasn't happened in the in the past couple of years because of the COVID thing. Yeah, yeah, because um, we did smoke the previous version and, of this, and, and we were scheduled to have the event, right. and it never happened. Canceled. So I'm happy to say that the Cigar Smoking World Championship 2022 will take place. It's going to happen right here at Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire, as a qualifying event, hmm. and there'll be a handful of these qualifying <laughs> events across the country. Um, the Cigar Smoking World Championship qualifying event will take place here. i got to take a puff on this because a cigar can't go out. You yeah. lose if it goes out. It will happen here Friday, July 29th at 6 p.m. Friday, July 29th at 6 p.m., the qualifying event for the Cigar Smoking World Championship. The participants uh, that keep the cigar lit the longest – is the winner. Participants receive hors d'oeuvres, drinks, two wood matches, a cigar cutter, and a qualifying Rocky Patel Cigar mm -hmm. Smoking World Championship Maraveta. Mareva. Mareva <laughs> cigar. <laughs> no tea in there. And <laughs> a one year digital subscription to Cigar Journal Magazine comes with it. Huh. Hmm. So at six o'clock, it'll happen here at Two Guys Smoke Shop. Uh, we close the door at six. We'll have some hors d'oeuvres and some drinks. To get you ready, because at 6.30, the official rules will be announced. I'll say some of those rules today to let you guys know what it takes. And at 6.40, precisely, the contest begins with the two matches, no. the one-minute lighting, and exactly where we are right I now. I have a question. Yes. I'm the last guy. Do I just keep going, or I win that round, and I don't have to try to get a longer time? You don't have to. Yeah. Okay. You're just in. Once you win, you win. So, so sabotage is the way. Right, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of lot of rules to this, but the qualifying winner of Two Guys Smoke Shop will receive one thousand dollars towards travel and hotel to Indianapolis, Indiana, to burn by Rocky Patel location for mm. the U.S. Championship. So at at that point, all the qualifiers will get together. They will meet on a uh, date in August. So this is going to happen quick from July. Uh, 29th, this is August, will be the championship for the U.S. winners. The winner of the U.S. championship 
will receive assorted gifts in transportation to split Croatia to mm. compete in the World Championships. The World Championship winner will win assorted prize totaling $80,000 and will be the world champion. Hmm. So we have 40 tickets to sell to our event. And the tickets are $59.99. It includes the one cigar, the two matches, the cutter, the hors d'oeuvres, the drinks. <laughs> I'm glad the matches are included. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Only 40 tickets. And the first time this is ever announced is right here, right now. Whoa. So if you happen to be listening live and you're local and you want to be part of it, you call the store and you get your ticket or come by the store and get your ticket. Uh, the, the word will get out now uh, across the board, but we've said it here on the ash holes. For the first time ever oh. that that's been announced. Breaking news. Breaking news. Cigar smoking competition. Let me give you a little of the rules of how this is. Mm. Taking a little puff on my cigar. Yeah, yeah don't forget it. You got a lot of rules. Cigar there. smoking competition is open to all adults, regardless of gender, race, religion, and nationality. Rule number one: all participants receive the same cigar. So, so what I what I urge you it around. <laughs> what I urge you to do is buy some of these cigars, yeah. practice, so, so you can practice, right? Get to know the cigar well. How often you have to take a hit on it before it goes out? You learn the tricks to it. Just don't want to show up without doing it. So we're yeah. practicing now. I'm doing terrible. <laughs> I can see it burns very well. Yeah, I've got. I mean, I've got oh. a wobble in mind because just the cold. Uh, lighting process. Yep. I got between a quarter inch and uh, to over an eighth of an inch on the Oh, yeah. Come along yeah. a lot. And uh, competition ring will hours. be fixed and glued to the cigar. Mm -hmm. Each participant will be given a cigar cutter in a box with two matches. Participants have one minute to prepare the cigar for lighting and cutting, just like we did. The cigar is lit with one of the two matches, one or two matches. Competitors officially start when the judge gives the sign to light the cigar. Burning is a maximum of one minute. You are not allowed to blow on the cigar from the outside or through the cigar to keep it wet. Oh, you can't. Oh, the first five minutes of the competition, you are not allowed to talk or consume drinks for the first five minutes. Hmm. It's an odd rule. Well, well, yeah, well, why were they I here? Know. I don't know, because they probably got a lot of talking or something, but you're hmm. not allowed to Maybe for the first five minutes. And if you and talk, you're out. out. Yeah. That's hmm. wild. I think they have um, penalty times and shit. Uh, yeah, adding to happen. Or subtracting. Cigar has to be kept in the hand during the whole competition. No putting it in the ashtray. Mm -hmm. So let's try to do that too today. All right. Not so don't far we go to I break. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're not allowed to cover or hide the cigar. It has to be out in the open. We're actually on video because we're on so YouTube still. I couldn't put they, it under the table. No, no, no. So everybody can see. Cigar is smoked up to the competitive ring. The competitor, if the competitive ring is burned, the participant earns 15 penalty minutes. Ooh, so you so don't want to burn. Be careful to say I'm done. Correct. Maybe even a, a tad early. Correct. Mm. Uh, you're not allowed to touch the burn line of the ash. So there's no wet your, your fingers, fingers and yeah. all that game. That we know all the tricks here, right? It is a very tight burn line, which is nice. Mm -hmm. First falling or shaking off the ash brings penalty minutes. So you don't want the ash to come off either. You'll get penalty minutes. If it's in the first 10 minutes, you're losing 20 minutes. Whoa. If it's the first 20 minutes, you're losing 15. The first 25 minutes loses 10 minutes. The first 30 minutes is 5 minutes. The first 35 minutes, you lose 3 minutes. What, if you lose any ash? Ash. So ashing before 35 minutes, you get docked. 40 minutes, you lose 1 minute. So, so for, four, for this whole show. Even if it falls off? Yes. You, whoa. I mean, they're expecting you to go first, much slower than we are, clearly. Yeah. First falling or shaking of the ash. I'm already well past in the first 40 quarter minutes. inch. <laughs> and it's been 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. if After not. 40 minutes, you're allowed to shake off the ash, and there is no penalty minutes except in the case of the ring burning. And my ash is kind of tilted, I mean, too, which is weird. You're better off, I think, with the ash on there, right? I would think. Uh, to keep it well, going. It, it insulates it and keeps it warmer, right? So, yeah. like, t taking ash off will cool well, it, so I guess that's probably why, yeah. I, I'm imagining that's why they would penalize, penalize you for ashing early. Again, I, I recommend uh, buy a box of these things and try a whole bunch of different things before you're coming up to try to win the championship. Scar smoking ends the moment the participant lifts his or her number. So you'll have a number, you hold it up and say, I'm done, which is going to be mm -hmm. right before it touches, burns the band in any way. 
cigar, if cigar has reached and allowed the limit of the ring. So it also stops if you've reached the ring, they're going to mm -hmm. stop you. Unless, of course, it burns and you're going to lose points. Competitive is guided by the judge, the competition. The winner of the competition is the person who smokes a cigar for the longest time without turning it off. Meaning the winner of the competition is the person whose time of smoking is the longest after all deductions and penalty minutes are taken into consideration. The main judge declares the winner of the competition, and that's what we have here. That's mm -hmm. how it works. So, yeah, you might, even if everybody else is out, you might keep going if you had penalty time, yeah, right, you, in order to get yeah, the you, best you overall. Yeah, you want to go as long as possible. That's true. You got some nice prizes in the U.S. I didn't mention, but the U.S. prizes of we're going to give you $1,000 to go take the mm -hmm. trip and, and whatever, and you get some other stuff also. But um, once you win that competition in, uh, at, at Rocky's place, I got to remember to do this. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you're going to win uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so is the Indy one and 40 people again? Less. less. I think there's only like maybe 12 across the country okay. of these things, maybe less. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. So say it's 12, if the number's 10, 12, whatever so it is. So whoever wins here is in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah. and you're going to be representing uh, two guys, and you, we'll uh, do whatever we can to, uh, if cheating can be involved, uh, we're in for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, but like the guys, they smoke these for almost four hours sometimes yes so it's like it's, it's amazing an insane amount of time yeah. there's no way i mean i'm a half inch in <laughs> and it's been how long <laughs> you know with with well it's crazy dave's the doing the best with early. all his talking yeah but uh but we're close to 15 minutes in yeah, taking be almost 16 oh, yeah 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 i'm taking very shallow puffs and uh, the flavor is interesting it tastes a bit of dill like mm. the the Spice, you know, like a dill pickle, but that, the dill, um, yeah. well, <laughs> it's the dill weed, no, <laughs> and the dried dill. We'll know. attribute that to the Honduran tobacco. Yeah. So I'm looking at some of the prizes you're going to get. A, Is uh, that a yacht? A Swiss watch valued at $10,000. A one-day cruise on a 180-foot yacht. yacht for you plus 11 friends wow. with drinks, food, cigars, water toys valued at $40,000. Huh. Water toys? Uh, SD <laughs> DuPont uh, creation lighter at $25,000. A cigar cutter at $1,000. Uh, Rocky Patel lighting instruments and uh, luxury humidors. Um, and you're going to be in Cigar Journal magazine as the world yeah. champion. Mm. Um, weekend package um, at the um, Radisson in uh, Split, Croatia. There's all kinds of rules. Uh, I got pages oh and pages gosh. of rules, but I gave you the, um, the simplified version yeah. of. Hmm? Oh, it almost went out, huh? It almost yeah. went out. The simplified version. So, of, is there a place people can see the full rule set, or we don't? Yes, know? Uh, Sagao Smoking World Championship dot com. I yeah. think or something like it's that. It's got all of them out there. All right. Wow, i got to really pay attention to this yeah. Yeah. before I end up uh, losing it. Why do we take a break, and when we come back, we'll do some emails and continue trying to smoke as slow as possible. Here we go. <laughs> Only Great Leaf makes great cigars. Aganor Salif stands out because of the distinctive mouth-watering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm, or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganor Salif different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganor Salif. Hello, cigar aficionados. This is Klaus Kellner from Davidoff Cigars. I invite you to taste the elements with Davidoff Escurio, Nicaragua, and Yamasa. From water comes originality. Savor the sweet and spicy originality of the Davidoff Escurio tobaccos born by the rains of Bahia, Brazil. From fire comes intensity. Enjoy the bittersweet aromas and fiery intensity of the Davidoff Nicaragua. From earth comes complexity. 
Taste the earthy flavors and complex spices that are unique to the red soil of the Yamasa region in Dominican Republic. Only Davidoff Master Blenders could take the power of nature and blend it into a range of exceptional cigars. Each element making each cigar a unique experience. Water, fire, earth. Flavors that have risen from the very world itself. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Davidoff Cigars. Cigar adventures to a wider world. Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Solidly constructed, and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael, it outsells them all. Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Aging Room 4 Nicaragua Maestro. Named Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of the year with a 96 rating, is a complex Nicaraguan puro carefully blended by Rafael Nodal and made by A.J. Fernandez. As Cigar Aficionado described it, every puff is an overture of flavors that's at times heavy and rich with notes of dark chocolate and wood, and other times subtle and understated with hints of fine caramel and toasted almond. Treat yourself to an aging Room 4 Nicaragua today. Surgeon General warning, cigar smoking can cause cancers of the mouth and throat even if you do not inhale. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head, and value, value, value. There are a Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian, and here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark, Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five-year-old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well-aged long filler leaves. So, what you do expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional. A flavorful journey into sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take a journey. And we're back live in the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio. We're trying to smoke as slow as possible with the Rocky Patel World Championship I'm gonna, I'm going I'm to say 20 minutes in, yeah. it's official. I'm the first guy out. It doesn't look like I have much yep. of a cigar that I smoked. Y- uh, you, you were doing too much talking, not enough smoking, I think. Yeah, Ed and I are pretty, I pretty close. I think I might be a little bit behind. And usually Ed. I'm a slow smoker. I'm yeah. just too worried it's going to go out. Boy, I'm taking I look, yeah, some really I look like the winner. Puffs. I looked like I was the winner. Uh, you looked good yeah, on that. Yeah, but nope, it was going out. So I, I get to relight just for fun, right? Yeah, yeah. you just well, enjoy you, the cigar you, now. Just, yeah. <laughs> Pressure's off you. Uh, and uh, for those of you that don't follow us on fo- social media yet, check us out on Facebook. We're on Twitter at The Ashles, on Instagram at Ashles Radio. And if you want to send us an email, it's theashlespodcast at gmail.com. We're also on YouTube and Odyssey. And uh, speaking of emails. Am I do doing some. emails? I think you're doing you emails. You got them? You got some? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. You, when you beg long enough, you get something, right? Yeah, the first one comes from Michael Stallings, who says, Dear Ashles, as I sit here and listen to your show, I can't help but ponder, if you receive no fan mail, can you really claim to have fans? Mm. Mm. I didn't want you to suffer the same emotional pain <laughs> next week, so oh, I decided yeah. to send you this less than amazing email. <laughs> Consider this official fan mail. You wow. may now resume your show. Michael. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, is, is that the only fan mail? Somebody saying we didn't get fan mail? No, we got more. All right, good. (laughs) Some flounder sent us something, too. Ryan McGee says, I enjoy listening to the show every week as I drive between appointments. Would a monthly subscription pack for the Ashholes be considered in the future? Please 
uh, perhaps an add-on for the Cigar Authority. Oh. Yeah, Barry well, Killis, who did a we, separate. We, we, had, we attempted <laughs> something last week that went over pretty good, and I have uh, something to uh, add to that today because uh, that deal is over. I have one for today, but I'll wait till you're done. Okay. we we'll got one from Jay Bordas who says, Big, big fan of this podcast and the Cigar Ah, Authority. Okay. Can't be perfect, you know. (laughs) Barbecue (laughs) etiquette show really hit home, although I'm not in the industry. I am a high school administrator and basketball coach. Ah. I'm always the one that has to supply the cigars for the parties. (laughs) I don't mind because I love smoking cigars with anyone, anywhere, especially my friends. It's a good attitude. Mm Mm-hmm. I was listening to the taco podcast on the golf course, <laughs> hitting some practice balls, and I shanked a shot when I heard Dave has never had a taco. Yeah, never ate one. It's, it's a crime. Anyway, keep up the good work. <laughs> Love the show. If you are ever in Lexington, Kentucky, I'd be more than happy to host you for a barbecue wow. and yeah. supply you with all the cigars. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. And Oh, look at this. There's and more. Oh, yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> we got greetings from the border city of El Paso, Texas. Just caught the podcast and thought I, I'd come here and comment. Just FYI, nothing wrong with just meat and tortillas for tacos. It's true. Yeah, it's still a taco. Also right. for Dave, try grilling a thin piece of steak along with diced bacon, sautéed Ooh. onion, salt, and pepper. Super simple, authentic, and delicious I, taco. It sounds good. Yeah, do a steak taco. That's, I mean, it's a yeah. party. And R- Rakesh Robbie just says, since YouTube keeps growing with cigar content, make the move to Rumble. It's the next biggest, best platform that doesn't censor cigars. We're there. We're available on there. Um, <coughs> YouTube Both the assholes and, and cigar the Cigar Authority. Authority. All right. YouTube is so far above and beyond everything that's out there right now. Yeah, we're we're got to stay with it as fish long as with they... with a fish are, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as they let us keep streaming live, we're going to have to do that. But with we, we have loaded it all there. Yep. And uh, it's going slow, but they're all getting there. Yeah, one a day. Yeah. Although I think we've got a year and a half's worth out there, yeah. maybe two years by so now. So we're going to keep getting it so it's somewhere so it isn't lost. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, we, we can look at analytics the bulk of it, by the way. Oh, the ash is off of Ed Sullivan. The ash is off at 25 minutes in. Yeah, yeah I've got some kind of penalty. Right? You would have penalties. Yeah, you, quite you a bit. Quite a bit at 25 minutes. I'll probably lose mine during the top five. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. speaking of which. The first falling off. <laughs> uh, yes, 25 minutes. You've lost 10 minutes. Oh, my God. I'm um, part of it though. Is we're we're doing other things. Correct. And people yeah. would tend to hold it vertically when they're doing like these Aaron things. Like Aaron is trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Shall we see if he's going to lose it? Yeah, we'll see. Aloha. Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect ten, and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them, so you can share with a friend. And now here's today's top five list. All right, we're talking about championships, and so we're going with the top five NBA players with the most championships. All right. Oh. Basketball is just not a thing for me. Like, Well, it's, it's big right now in Boston, right? We got it the is, Celtics yeah. The championship. yeah. This is it. This is the championship. Yeah, yeah, another championship. Tied one game to one. All, All right. right, so with E, uh, I got to go backwards. So actually, it's the third place is tied between four people, maybe even huh. more. It's probably more uh, with eight championships. So really, our five and four and three are both eight, all eight championships. We have uh, Satch Sanders, Casey Jones, and Tom Heinzen. Yeah, Tom a bunch, of, a bunch of Celtics. These were all Celtics oh. from nineteen like late fifties uh, into the sixties. I mean, that's like the heyday yeah. of. You know, Celtics. Celtics were unbelievable. They were huge. What they call that when they they just win all the time? There was dynasty. Dynasty. Think, yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a dynasty. Yeah, we know a lot about dynasties That's here. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe not all sports at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so down to number two already uh, with uh, ten championships is Sam Jones of the Celtics. Again, mm-hmm. same dynasty. Uh, he just went, you know, a few more years. Uh, and number one, 
Bill Russell of the Celtics, <laughs> the same All dynasty. the Celtics. It's like, you know. So don't be hating on us just for our Patriots. Yeah. Hate hey, us for our Celtics, Red Sox, Bruins. Hate yeah. us for all sports. And I, I don't. Have the Bruins ever been like crazy, like winning streaks? They were good, they've, but. They've had good years, but I don't you know. You couldn't if say a, the Red Sox or no, the Bruins no. ever had a dynasty the no. way the Celtics and Patriots have. Yeah, yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah. But it's it's good. It's pretty good to be a New England sports fan. I'm not the biggest sports fan either. No, no I yeah. mean, like you know, when in, I was a kid in the more, '80s yeah. and stuff, it was horrible. Yeah, <laughs> like into the mid '90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. terrible. So uh, we did a, a little package deal last last mm. week just to try it out and see how it went, and people took advantage of it. And this time, I thought, uh, and I should have checked with you, but I'm going to check with you right now, Ed Sullivan, All right. because this is a Corona. Or Corona-ish yep. cigar that we're smoking. So I thought, let's uh, pick a group of Coronas. Nice. And maybe somebody wants to try this Rocky Patel. So may- maybe let me put this Rocky Patel World Championship Maravea. Mareva. Mareva. <laughs> <laughs> Mareva in it. It's $9.38 it's cigar. It's not a cheap date. It right. isn't. For the, this small of a cigar. Uh, the Aladino Corojo Corona, seven dollars and nineteen cents. Fan Very favorite, good. Right? huge winner. Yep. Uh, Perdomo tenth anniversary Champagne Corona. You know I smoke those That's all the on time. The regular eight thirty nine. We have the Christoph Corona at five eighty nine. The okay. Habano. The Habano. Habano. Yeah. Nice. That's a good one. We have the twenty two degrees north, eighty three degrees west Corona Extra. That's a great one. Yeah. Five ninety nine. So another all Corojo. A lot of Corojo, yeah. All Corojo. Oh, there goes my ash. <laughs> oh, we're at <laughs> about thir- 30 minutes in. Let's see if I can. Uh, for Aaron. Whoop. Got 30 minutes in. Things. What did, what did he lose for time? Because I still have my ash, but yeah, mine went 30 out. 30 minutes. 30 so. minutes, you lost five minutes. Yeah, you lost everything. Yeah. doesn't mm-hmm. matter when the ash goes. Kill it, no. no, you could tap out. it off there if you want. No. No. <laughs> I'm going to win something. My cigar will still be lit or something, whatever. Something. Um, <laughs> and the Regis Half Corona. <clears throat> nice Regis little half, cigar. Right? Little, little small. A lot of flavor in a small package. So if you add all those cigars up, they come out to $41.43. And Dave's weekly six-pack deal for June 7, 2020 is twenty nine ninety nine. No. So it's a really good deal. It's a very good deal. So, What's that? 25% or more? I didn't do the I math, but it's a lot. It's a good deal. The deal is available until next week's show, next Tuesday, June seventh, uh, no, June no, no, 14th, 14th yeah. at 4 o'clock when the show starts. So last week's deal is gone. This one is up there. It's a six-pack of Coronas, including the Rocky Patel World Championship that we're smoking here. Um, again, that's costing you close to $10 just for the Rocky right. Patel. So twenty nine ninety nine. It's a deal. We're not just throwing one cigar in the box. for Good. Uh, yeah. It's a good pack for a Father's Day gift. You know? Yeah. Oh, nice. In there. there we go, too. So I would be happy to get that for Father's Day. Go to twoguyscigars.com in the search box, hit Dave's, and... It'll end up showing yeah. up. It's kind of hidden inside there, but, but if you're yeah, a listener of the show, you, just, you can find it. Yeah, if you go into the bundles, the, all the, the packs, sample yeah. packs should be on there. there. Okay. That's where I found the it's other easy. one. It's easy. I go to search and just type Dave, and it pops yeah. up. Yeah. So look for it, but it's it's only for the Ashles. a little something to do and uh, see if we have a listenership. And people bought it, so uh, it's cool and a little little deal for you guys uh, sucking, through, <laughs> sucking through this show. Uh, <laughs> so So it's not just us. Um, but um, the cigar is tasting fine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the uh, ash on, on mine is uh, <laughs> it's totally crooked. It's crooked, but yeah. it's, it's staying on. I think if I take another puff, yeah, I'm going to well, lose it. Mine was kind of going crooked too, but it, that's part of the reason I was holding it up so much because yeah. there's no way I could have held it normally. <laughs> mine ended up shutting off, So, but again, maybe that five minutes of no talking is actually a good thing. It probably is. Because people would lose it so early mm-hmm. on, they might have said, you know, don't talk. Right, Just, you violated that. Oh, there it is. There is the All right, so there's about 32 minutes in that I lost my Same ash. penalty. At, penalty at 32 so minutes. Penalty would, on top of being disqualified. Because yeah. <laughs> you, you got to make it to 40 minutes. So uh, Yeah, that's, that's tough. Call it 35 minutes in. It's three-minute penalty plus mine shut off. Um, yeah, most people are going to be done with a corona of this size in 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But again, the, the competition goes three hours sometimes. They, yeah. They say. If I was drawing normally, I would be done almost. <laughs> like it's because I'm taking such shallow, short uh, draws. Hmm. And, and and we're gonna you know yeah. we'll tell you next week because we're never gonna make it uh, to make it all the way through. I don't think uh, we got five six minutes left in the show. And we'll just, yeah. see who's gonna win so far. At yeah, least. I think. So, uh, but we got, what do we have? Bit. We have some delightful news. Are you tired of the news claiming the end of the world? Everyone run for cover! Mayday! Are you sick of turning on your radio and hearing things like this? Code Red, duck and cover! You're all in danger! Well, I think it's time for some delightful news. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. How delightful. Here's some delightful news. Uh, Murph is dreaming right now. He sees his oh. little paws going. <laughs> oh, he's running. He's running. <laughs> That's delightful. So I don't know if this is necessarily delightful. I'm going to put it in the category of a public service. All right. Public service announcement. Missouri firefighters rescue seven people trapped up to 40 feet in the air on a carnival ride. Oh, it's delightful that they were survived. Yeah. I mean, it's a carnival ride, so it's yeah. to be expected, right? <laughs> yeah. Missouri firefighters responded to a broken down carnival ride on Friday night and rescued seven people who were trapped inside cars up to 40 feet in the air. Rescue operation began around 10 p.m. in the downtown district of Kirkwood after the riders became stranded on the carnival attraction. The carnival was part of a weekend event called St. Peter Fest. Three of the riders were trapped inside a car 40 feet in the air. They safely brought them down oh. from the ride using ropes, technical systems, boy, oh boy. and it an is, aerial ladder. It is not the ride I was expecting. What do you, <laughs> no. do, what do, you do after that? Do you just go home, or do you <laughs> yeah. get a hot dog and go on the next ride? Uh, do they give yeah. you a free hot dog? Yeah, it's a carny. No play a lot of They're probably charging you for the time. The operation lasted around 30 minutes, That's and no bad. injuries were reported. Church officials told the station that a broken part on the ride is believed to have caused <laughs> the malfunction. I could have told you that. <laughs> I mean. It's a bad idea to go on these things in a parking lot. And I remember <clears throat> taking my daughter, she was little, and handing her off to the most bad-looking dude ever. <laughs> they all look Net carnies. tattoos. Carnies. You know, yeah. And Small giving hand. this little girl to him. <laughs> and saying to myself, what the hell am I doing? He takes her, oh, it's all set. And then he walks around the thing to put her on the thing. Mm. And she's panic look on her yeah. face. And I'm like, good instincts. <laughs> what the hell's with this? And then the thing's over. And I go, we're done with this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the ride, I mean, it, they don't seem to name yeah. it. I was expecting like a Ferris wheel. But no, it looks like, a, I mean, I would call it the salt and pepper shaker. I'd yeah. Probably it's have like, different names. you know, two cars. It's like two big hammers, basically, that you're in that go on. I know that. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Back and forth. Yeah. So those are the 40 foot people. These ones probably could have jumped out, and they would have been fine. Yeah, those lower people, I'm sure. Were. What if they were screaming and stuff? The thing shuts off. Yeah, oh, hot, I'm sure. In panic mode. Oh, my God. Now you realize Horror. you just made a bad life decision getting on that ride. Absolutely. I think you probably realize that as soon as you step on before <laughs> yeah. it breaks down. <laughs> hey, once again, the Cigar Smoking World Championship 2022 takes place here at Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire, the qualifying event Friday, July 29th at 6 p.m. If you're interested in coming, it's $59 per person. 40 tickets will be sold. We're going to give you some food beforehand, something to drink. But then when the competition starts, for five minutes, there's not even any talking allowed. You have to play by the rules, and then you smoke the cigar and stay as long as it takes. You know, we'll be here all night if we have all to right. be. Till we, They'll be till under we have your roof, so they got to play by your rules. That's right. No, they're I've not that even some, your rules. I've heard but. that somewhere else. And uh, if you're interested in Dave's six-pack, twenty nine ninety nine. you go to twoguyscigars.com, and you'll on the search bar, hit yeah. Dave's, or, or go under the packs and find it. Uh, it's a little secret between us here on the Ash Holes and everybody else. You know it's there. It's there. I it's would there say till next week. It's not fair for us to rate this. We weren't really smoking it yeah. in a normal fashion. That's the thing. It's if like, you really want to smoke the cigar, try to tour over the Robusto to yeah. enjoy the flavors of it. Uh, you can even smoke this, but it's, it's like when we do the Cigar, cigar journal. journal. 
It yep. takes the enjoyment out of the cigar to yeah, actually right. review a cigar. It really does. Yeah, I haven't been thinking about flavor profiles. All you're yeah. thinking about no. is i got to keep this going right. somehow. Well, and you're trying to, like, smoke it as cool as possible, really, yeah. like, really. because you don't want to over, you know, yeah, heat it, it. it. it's unfair to review and it. And it so, changes so that. It's a fine cigar. Yeah. Uh, it's it's certainly burning fine. It's burning slow for a, a, a teeny cigar like this. Yeah. That we, this is a Corona. This is five and an eighth by forty-two. I mean, it's got some kick to it, but for the mild smokers, you'll be smoking it slowly, so yeah, you should be nobody's fine. Nobody's going to get sick from smoking <laughs> yeah, this no. as slow as they possibly can. But it's listen. You want to say to your your uh, significant other, you're going to play sports tonight, and come and have a cigar with us. Hey. It's a sport, and we're looking for a world champion. Takes controlled right. breathing, uh, discipline. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, let's hope it's a two guys world champion. Let's so, let's nice. hope so. Uh, next week on the show, um, what's humidor? Talk humidors? Humidors, yeah. because Chrissy's looking for a humidor. Yep. And uh, we'll learn a little about humidors. Yeah, I need and we'll, some advice. Here we go. We'll All get right. the advice going. So Okay, until then, you've been listening to the Ash Holes, broadcasting from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio at Two Guys Smoke Shop in Town, New Hampshire. We will see you next week. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe.